preparing alkene, okay, or uh, uh, making alkenes, okay. Uh, there are two methods uh, to pre to prepare alkene: crackings of alkene or uh, dehydrations of uh, alcohol. Okay. Now, cracking of alke alkene, alkene uh, through cracking, then we will get alkene. Now, from the name, uh, we should know that uh, crackings of alkene means we break alkene molecule. A big alkene molecule, we break it. Okay, we break it into smaller molecule. And then it will become alkene. Okay, so cracking means we break the big molecule to become smaller more, uh, molecule. And uh, at the same time, this alkene will become alkene. Okay, uh, alcohol is uh, dehydration of alcohol. As I told you just now, dehydration means remove water. Okay, remove water. So dehydration of alcohol means remove water from alcohol. Eh? Uh, if we remove water from alcohol, then it will, it will also become alkene okay so two methods to prepare alkene eh? crackings of alkene or dehydrations of alcohol okay okay let's see cracking eh? so cracking is the name given to breaking up large hydrocarbon molecules into smaller and more useful bits so what does this mean eh? uh, this is achieved by using high pressure and temperature without a catalyst eh? or lower temperature and pressure in the presence of catalyst so to break alkene eh? we need high pressure or temperature high pressure and temperature then we can break uh, alkene eh? or if you don't want to use a uh, high high pressure and temperature then uh, you must use a catalyst okay catalyst the catalyst is the chemicals that make the process faster okay so that is a uh, crackings of uh, uh, crackings reactions or crackings of alkene let's see these examples eh? Uh, so we have an alkene. Okay, what's the name of this alkene? Is butane, right? Butane, eh? okay. Uh, because it has four carbons. Okay. Now, if we heat this alkene, we heat this alkene in a very high temperature and pressure. Okay. The bonds between the carbons, eh? the carbon-carbon bonds, are uh, one of the bonds. Eh? Sometimes. More than one, eh? okay, but uh, one or more than one of the bonds uh, will be broken. Okay, let's say uh, it break here. So after it break here, then uh, this become two pieces, right? Okay, two pieces. Eh? Okay. Uh, let's see this one first, okay? Let's see eh? this one. Eh? Okay, so it will become um, something like this. Okay, something like this. Eh? And then uh, after broken, uh, this one actually initially is uh, it share one pair of electrons. Uh. There are two electrons here. They share one pair of electrons. There are two electrons here. So this is a bond. Uh, okay. But after we break it, okay. After we break it, uh, then uh, one of the electrons will belongs to this carbon. Uh, another one belongs to this carbon. Okay. So there is only one electron here, right? Okay. So we call this a free radical. Uh. Free radical. Free radical is the molecules. Okay. That is that that has a uh, one electron which is not shared with another atoms. Uh, this this free radical it can attach to other molecules easily. Okay, it can attach to other molecules or atoms easily if it has chance to do so. Okay, we are less of one electrons here. Okay, so these free radicals it will move around and then uh, if it move and then it uh, encounter or hit one of the atoms here this one uh, okay or hit this one uh either this one or this one okay so if this three radicals uh, collide or hit these two hydrogens uh, so it will attract these hydrogens it will attract these hydrogens uh, uh then it will become a methane okay so it, it attract these hydrogens and become a methane so that's what happens so uh, let's say it uh, attract these hydrogens eh? okay it attract these hydrogens and then uh, so these ones you have less one hydrogen less eh? okay being taken away by this uh, free radicals so it become a methane eh? it become a methane then how about this one this one okay now just now we say uh, because after after it's broken okay 
there's one electrons belong to this carbon okay now after this hydrogen is taken away is taken by this uh, free radicals uh, okay so this carbon also has one electrons left right okay just now it has two electrons uh, share the carbon share two electrons with the hydrogen now the hydrogen is taken away so then now there's one electrons left okay this electron and this electron they will combine together so this carbon it was just now it share with this one now it cannot share already now it will share with these carbons okay so this carbon and this carbon they will share another pairs of electron there are already one pairs of electron here okay it will share one more pair okay and if you share one more pair it will form a double bond here it will form a double bond eh? so what happened is that they form a double bond okay they form a double bond So you see, this hydrogen, okay, uh, is donated to this alkane already, and this one is broken. Eh? So these electrons combine together form a double bond. Then it becomes something like this. Okay. So uh, then, this is a product. Now uh, this is a methane, and this is a propene. Okay, this is propene. So. Uh, the crackings of this uh, or breakings of this uh, butane, uh, it will produce a propene and a methane. Propene and methane. And this is an alkene, right? So from alkene, uh, crackings of alkene, we produce alkene. Okay, but it's a mixture of alkene and alkene. Eh? Mixture of alkene and alkene. And this alkene can be separated from uh, alkanes easily. Sometimes, uh, sometimes the bond is not. Uh, not not this bond is broken, okay? But uh, this bond is broken. Now, if this bond is broken, then uh, this this part uh, of the molecule it will form a free radicals, right? It will form something like this, uh, free radicals, uh, okay? And uh, same thing happens, okay? These free radicals it will uh, attack or hit on these hydrogens. Uh, and then it will pull the hydrogens and it will become an ethane. Uh, sorry, no, it, it will attack this one, okay? It will attack this one and take these hydrogens away, okay? And then, um, so you take these hydrogens away, okay? Then uh, this one, it will become alkene, okay? Because this electron and this electron will combine, okay, to form alkene. So the product is, uh, this is ethene, eh? So the product is ethene and ethane, okay? Ethene and ethane, okay? Now in the exam, they may ask you, okay? The crackings of butane produces a mixture of what? Okay? It will produce a mixture of ethane, uh, sorry, methane, ethane, ethene, and propene. It will produce a mixture of methane, ethane, ethene, and propene okay so you see yeah, you need to know the products produced uh, for the crackings of butane usually they will ask you the crackings of butane only they won't ask you the crackings of others like a uh, crackings of uh, pentane or uh, hexane or what uh, okay usually they will give the examples of butane uh, maybe sometimes they will give you the crackings of uh, propane also but very uh, very rare Seldom they ask you about the crackings of uh, propane. Usually they will ask you about the crackings of butane, and you need to know the crackings of butane will produce a mixture of methane, ethane, ethene, propane. We don't know which one will be broken here or here. Uh, so that's why sometimes it's broken here, sometimes it's broken here, sometimes it's broken here. Yep. So therefore the product the product uh, is uh, this one. Okay, it's a um, uh, mixture of methane, ethane, ethene, and propene. Now, just now we say that there are two methods uh, to prepare uh, alkene, right? Crackings of alkene and dehydrations of alcohol. Uh. So now let's see the second method: dehydrations of alcohol. So this shows the experiment uh, of dehydrations of alcohol. Uh, here we can see that there is a glass wool soak with a ethanol. Ethanol is an alcohol, okay? Uh, and then we have uh, porcelain chips. This one is a catalyst, eh? 
okay the catalyst uh, is either aluminium oxide or uh, porcelain chips uh. the experiment is uh, very simple okay you just you just uh, heat the porcelain chips first time uh, you heat the porcelain chips uh, okay after that you heat the the alcohol the glass will soak with the alcohol eh? okay you heat this one first eh? and then after that you heat this one okay now this one we do not heat it uh, directly we heat it uh, once a while okay heat it and then remove the fire and then heat it again and remove the flame eh? heat it okay so heat it once a while eh? so after you heat it stands that uh, it will evaporate okay and uh, when the vapors pass through this uh, porcelain chips eh? the alcohol will become alkene okay it's very simple right and the alkene is then uh, collected by using this method if you still remember this method is called a uh, displacement a uh, downward displacement okay this method is called downward displacement of water to collect gas eh? uh, let's see eh? the equation for the preparations of ethene and propene to prepare ethene to prepare ethene we use ethanol eh? ethanol we will learn alcohol later maybe next lessons eh? okay so so far you only need to know that uh, this is the formulas of ethanol eh? ethanol the formula is uh, c2 h5 oh eh? this is ethanol okay now why we use why we use ethanol because ethene has two carbon eh? ethanol also has two carbons okay we heat it okay with the presence of aluminium oxide as a catalyst eh? then it become ethene c2h4 eh? okay at the same times h2o is produced eh? because we take uh, we take away the water molecule from an alcohol molecule okay we take away the water molecule so that it become alkene eh? it become ethene become ethene this is ethanol and this is ethene okay so this process uh, we take away water from uh, an alcohol molecule is called dehydration dehydration means remove water from an alcohol okay and uh to prepare propene propene has three carbon and then we must have a three carbon alcohol eh? it's called propanol eh? three carbon alcohol c3 h7 oh eh? okay but if you don't understand this uh the formula and the name of alcohol eh, is is fine now because we are going to learn alcohol later so you don't need to worry about the name and the formulas of alcohol now eh. okay this is propanol okay and uh we just heat it with the presence of uh catalyst uh, then it will become c3h6 so this is propene eh. propene and at the same time water is produced okay so this is the equation you need to know this equation sir. okay but if you can't remember this equation now it's okay because we are going to repeat the same thing eh, when we learn alcohol when we learn alcohol we will uh, repeat this dehydrations of alcohol to prepare alkene we will uh, repeat this at the same uh, at the times you already know what is alcohol the name of alcohol and uh, there's the formulas of alcohol eh? then uh, it should be easier for you to remember Okay, the equations of the reactions of this dehydrations of alcohol. So this one we use aluminum oxide or porcelain chips as the, the cat. Okay, so this is another one. The reaction is the same. Okay, the equation of the reaction is the same. Everything is the same. The only difference is this one we use uh, sulfuric acid or phosphoric acid as the catalyst. Okay. Uh, and these two are solutions. Uh, solution. Just now the porcelain chips and... Uh, aluminum oxide eh? they are solid okay but this one is solutions eh? or liquids so it's different okay uh, so what we do is we add this uh, sulfuric acid or a uh, phosphoric acid eh? into alcohol and then we heat it and then this one eh? the temperature need to be controlled at 170 degrees Celsius or around 170 degrees Celsius why because sulfuric acid of and phosphoric acid eh? they are oxidizing agent uh? We will learn oxidations in next chapters. Eh? But anyway, now we just remember. So just need to remember, sulfuric acid and phosphoric acid that they are oxidizing agent. Okay, if the temperature is too high, then so the they will uh, oxidize the alkene. They will oxidize the alkene. Uh, so 
uh, you, we, we must control the temperature at uh, 100, 170 degrees Celsius. And you must remember this, uh, the temperature for this reaction is 170 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we heat it and then we control the temperature at 170 degrees Celsius. Then uh, the, uh, the alcohol will become alkene. Yeah. Ethanol will become ethene, propanol will become propene. Eh? And then we collect the gas produced okay, by using this uh, downward displacement methods. So this is uh, another experiment. Eh? Same reactions, uh, another experiment with uh, another uh, catalyst. Okay. The reaction is the same, eh? 